Now, Real Madrid signs goalkeeper Kipa Arizabalaga from Chelsea. Hey, season, nice. <laughs> season loan, season long loan deal. This is so perfect for yeah. Real Madrid and Chelsea, even because <laughs> I mean, well, it, I think. I think it, so. Chelsea have Sanchez, another player from Brighton, who's now their goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, no. uh, Sasha Guryanov, who's on the, uh, who's a, a a writer for the Guardian, goes on the Totally Football podcast for, out of the UK. He's not. He's a goalkeeper, amateur, so he takes takes goalkeeping very seriously. He's not a fan of Sanchez, and Sanchez did make some passes in that Chelsea game that were suspect, and he had lost his je- his job to Jed Steele. Uh, under Deserby. So it's a not wanted keeper who's now the Chelsea keeper, but Kepa, who is actually one of Chelsea's better players and kept them their defense as good as it was, they just gave him away to Real. I don't understand it. I would have I wouldn't have I would have kept Kepa and let Sanchez go and let fucking Real Madrid deal with Sanchez. But anyway, that's just, well, just I think Kepa Sanchez. has redeemed himself. But right, but, I understand that. I would have not uh, signed a keeper and just uh, let Kepa. Play. But the the thing is, um, this is a great deal for Madrid because they don't have to worry about him. Oh, it's killer! Uh, you know, uh, after killer. Um, money wise, either. But it's killer you know, deal. It's a, now for Chelsea, I mean, hey, it, but if you have your priorities straight, if you know that you're not going to play him, why not loan him out? Oh yeah, and yeah. See, and see how he does for a top club. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, I think it could be a yeah. deal, is, is, depending on how you look at things. But, Although um, I have to say, I mean. Um, the Madristas are going to Hell. maybe maybe <laughs> not like what they see from Kepa. He is he can be erratic. He takes weird positions in goal, especially his first season where you're like, that ball's not supposed to go in. Why did you dive like that? And why yeah. did it go in right through the middle of the goal? Well, so he has me. some positioning issues that are he, kind of tricky. He's, he's, uh, he's a little bit too... A little bit too emotional sometimes, but he's yeah. very good. He's gotten much fitter. He's got his man muscles. He's um, gonna have to figure I think it, it out. It was tough for him at Chelsea. They will eat him alive over there at Baron. The, they, they will eat the, him the alive. Spanish, they will. Spanish news media is as lethal as Premier League or English media. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh well, no, I don't think the English Premier League me- media is. It, it's definitely worse in Spain. It's by it's, far. It's lethal and in Germany in, and Italy. And you, and yes, you see, English you media see, is fine. You see a lot of, I guess. Um, supporters as journalists and that's the problem because they become really fanatic mm-hmm. and really passionate about uh well about the, the other thing the other thing is the socio thing where like people who are in the club and work for the team will just put you on blast to somebody they know at us or 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 or, or whatever which is crazy what's the other one marca marca is the other one it, and marca right? us it's crazy mundo yeah. Deportivo. I mean, you got a lot of this. <laughs> uh, never stops. Anyway, killing. The but fact anyways, that they still have new, newspapers in Spain is ridiculous. Yeah. But people keep buying <laughs> them. <laughs> people keep buying them. For top football news, debate, analysis, and opinion, join Top Football Club. Watch live on YouTube or on the Top FC News website or listen live on the AMP app and on your smart speaker, Top Football Club.